ハローエブリワン2022年度もたくさんの志望校合格のお知らせをいただきました自分の番はまだまだ先と思わないで千里の道もまずは一歩から3月春季講習でライバルに差をつける一歩を踏み出しましょう One step ahead Hi everyone and welcome back to another fun episode of PR2 It's almost the end of the academic year for many of you, so hang in tight, spring break is almost coming. Today we will learn about flowers. Have any of you wondered how flowers know when to bloom? They don't have eyes, ears, nor a recognizable brain, but they are still capable of detecting the right season to bloom. There are, in fact, many simulants for blooming, including temperature, weather, and most importantly, day length. Let's talk about day length. Plant cells are always equipped with photoreceptors, which are molecules that receive light signals. They can detect different lights of different wavelengths, such as red, far red, and blue. When enough daylight is detected by the photoreceptors, proteins travel to the tips of shoots where molecular changes are underwent. This is the key to flowering. It must also be noted that different species flower at different optimal day lengths. For instance, rice usually flowers late in the year. Some biotechnologists are attempting to maximize this characteristic so that they can harvest more. Such genetically altered organisms, as you may know, are called genetically modified organisms. I hope I've explained the process of flowering in an understandable way. To me, it is fascinating how plants can control certain timings of certain functions to raise their chances of survival. Anyways, that's a wrap for today. Stay warm, happy, and active, and I'll see you again. Bye!